Hello guys, welcome back to Lenovo PC channel. Guess what are the mostly asked questions in our comment section? Of course, we also have this bit of irritation like this. So what's the reason behind this dramatic stock out? Lack of components. Some might shrug and say, oh, lack of graphic cards. Actually, it's way more complicated than that. So what exactly are we missing? What's the reason behind it? Today, we are here to spit all out. For starters, what parts make up a laptop? From the design and production side, one laptop is composed of structural parts, electronics parts, and K parts all together. And these parts are composed of many components, such as chips, LCD screens, etc. Currently, the biggest challenge we are facing now is the lack of chip supply on the motherboard. The laptops, especially the motherboard, is a major chip consumer. One laptop only has more than 100 chips. For example, this Yoga Slim 7 Pro motherboard. It is covered with more than 60 chips. Without them, it's just a piece of plain board. There's another influence factor, the screen and power adapter shortage. In general, screen factories make what we have ordered. The current situation is that we get what screen factories can make. So what's causing this shortage? The truth is, the screen and power adapter factory is also short of chips. Source drive and timing control on the display drive, power management on the power adapter, and PD controller are in the desperate need of chips. Another victim of chip stock out. So what is going on in the chip industry? Why is there such a severe shortage? The answer is very simple. We buy more, we make less. Two reasons why we buy more. First off, due to COVID-19 pandemic, lots of people from all over the world are under strict lockdown. Working and starting from home has led to a surge in demand for consumer electronics. This leads to a great increase in demand for chips. Second, with the development of electric vehicles and rapid advancement of 5G in the communications industry, there is a huge demand for chips as well. Some people might say, if the demand is this high, then ramp on production. But too bad, this can't solve the problem. Two reasons for that, the long production cycle and the global manufacturing synergy for the chip industry. Chip production is divided into design, production, packaging, testing. Fabulous is the chip designer, and they will give the design chip circuit diagram to professional chip manufacturers for processing and complete the circuit processing on the wafer. We usually call it the pre-production process, and the processed wafer will be package tested by professional package test factories. We call it the post-production process. That is how most chips are made today. Another idea mode is to do the whole process, design, produce, and package test on their own. But this requires a lot for the company. Some well-known IDM companies include Intel, Samsung, and TR. As we can say, chip production requires a company's multi-stage process or the cooperation of several companies. The production cycle is very long. Any process that goes wrong will affect the production. And setting up factories for chip design, chip manufacturing, and package testing requires different conditions. It's necessary to select the most suitable region in order to stay competitive, so that each part may be distributed in different countries and regions. Therefore, the production process requires multi-country and multi-regional cooperation. In the old days, before COVID-19, everything was under control. The supply and demand of the chips were relatively balanced. But the pandemic changed all that. COVID-19 pandemic global outbreak has greatly affected the factory's production and the cargo transportation. This requires a multiple national and multiple regional cooperation. So the capacity recovery has been taken quite slow. Although factories have been ramping up the production, it takes a large amount of investment and a long period of time from investment to production to improving market supply. Also, natural disasters worsen chip production. On another level, the 8-inch wafers used by the power manager components, display driver chips, and other power components are currently out of the stock the most. And what's worse, right now the chip industry is heading to the 12-inch wafers direction. Equipment manufacturers no longer produce the equipment used to make 8-inch wafers. Chip factories can only use second-hand production equipment and improve the production efficiency of existing equipment. 
you can imagine the situation. All in all, laptop stockout is caused by cheap screen and adapter stockout. Screen and adapter stockout is caused by cheap stockout, while cheap stockout is caused by production equipment shortage for 8 inch wafers. A stockout is an industry wide stockout. Lenovo, as the largest global PC maker, takes no exception. But we are working harder than ever to improve the communication and management with suppliers. In fact, any company has its own upstream supply. Even the IDM mode mentioned above, they were not handed all by themselves. So supply chain management is a key section in any company. In fact, the global supply chain is one of the Lenovo's core competencies. In 2021, Lenovo ranked 16th on Gartner's global supply chain top 25. Nice. It is the only high-tech manufacturing enterprise on the list in China. For this cheap shortage, supply chain management has taken on a series of measures to try to improve the situation. First, establish long-term further supply partnership. Strategically select suppliers and form a win-win situation instead of a purely transactional partnership. Second, will not only cooperate with suppliers directly, but also cooperate with suppliers or suppliers, and even suppliers at a high level, so as to lower risks and steady supply. We have been making use of supply chain resources and brand influence to assist screen factories and adapter factories to negotiate with chip manufacturers, and at the same time to help our cooperative chip design companies to enhance cooperation with chip manufacturers and chip package test factories for the sake of our core components supply. Third, regularly review supplies to achieve multi-source, avoiding the potential effect of a single source. Fourth, take strategic stock reserving, stock up ahead of time in a predictable manner, and improve supplies alignment and availability. Hopefully, things will get back to normal very soon. Thank you all for your ongoing support. We will do our best to live up to that. That is all for today. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, you know what to do. See you in the next one. Bye.